And now, another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. Well, looks like your luggage is over 50 pounds. Is there anything you can take out? Oh, yeah. Let me just toss all these $20 bills. Great. Let me grab you a trash can. Stop. Instead of throwing money away, move some clothes into a carry-on. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. On the latest episode of Backstage, I caught up with actor Brian Cranston. Excited for this one. He's the big star from Breaking Bad and the dad from Malcolm in the Middle. This is a guy who definitely paid his dues. He used to work on a chicken farm when he was a kid, had to sell papers as a paper boy, and was a pool boy in Catalina before he hit it big on television. He calls L.A. his home, and he titles it The Land of Broken Promises. He also told me you must be prepared for luck. It's now time to go backstage and hear my conversation with Brian Cranston. This guy has gone from being knee-deep in chicken shit to now inside luxury boxes at the Super Bowl. I mean, America isn't so bad, is it, Brian Cranston? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, from the, Yes, from the ridiculous to the sublime. It's uh, quite a ride, this life. We're on with the dad from Malcolm in the Middle and the guy from Breaking Bad, also the star of a new show, Your Honor, which is Sunday nights on Showtime. You know what I love about you, Brian, is that whenever you play a character, you really become the role you become that character and i'm curious is it true that you cried for 15 minutes after the scene where walter stands by and lets jane die on breaking bad is that true it is true um one of one of the risks that actors take emotionally is that you could get caught up in some memory uh some image that uh helps you as a character but not necessarily helping you as a as a person. So when I was writing up my thoughts on that scene, uh, uh, she had, you know, I, I thought, well, one of the things that could possibly should I save her? Should I let her die? Was um, you know, she's she's a young woman. She's my daughter's age, and so that was one of the reasons uh, why I should save her. And one of the reasons I shouldn't save her was she got Jesse hooked on heroin and. You know, he could die from this. And so it's, it was, I wrote all the possibilities. Then you just forget about that and do the scene. And sure enough, in the middle of that scene, I'm looking at her choking. And um, my daughter's face, my real daughter's face, took over. And uh, all of a sudden, I saw her choking. To, and it, was, uh, I, I, it stopped me. And I got caught in that image. And then it went away, and Kristen Ritter's face came back, and she was acting up a storm for me, which I appreciated. And um, you get caught. It's one of those things. Uh, it happens from time to time. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway, and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. I've heard you also say that actors are storytellers and I'm curious how much you learned as a sports fan. Uh, you're going to be at the Super Bowl, and we're going to talk about that coming up, but you're also a big baseball fan. And when you talk about storytellers, one of the greats, Vin Scully, how much did you learn about storytelling from listening to Dodgers games out there in L.A.? It's a good good question because he, I was listening to Vin Scully, no exaggeration, for 60 years. Um I was born and raised in Los Angeles. The Dodgers came out to L.A. after the 57 uh, season. So right when I was a little boy, uh, I started listening to him. And one of the joys of my life was being able to introduce 
then to my daughter, Taylor, and she knew how important he was, and I got to present him with his Lifetime Achievement Award at the ESPYs one year. And that just, it was, you know, I was nervous in front of him. I, I, I was, I mean, someone who meant so much to me during the times of a troubled childhood, at least for those three hours when I listened to Vince Scully's voice, all was, a, all was going to be okay. And, and it was, a, it was a, a sanctuary for me. Yeah, he sure is missed. Uh, hopefully you don't miss the Super Bowl. Everyone's going to be watching, but you could be watching the game and hanging out with Brian. If you go to Brian Cranston, biggame.com, he's teaming up with big brothers and big sisters. You could win a trip for two to the Super Bowl to come hang with you. Do you have a Super Bowl prediction? You going with the Eagles? You going with the Chiefs? Are you you sticking with your L.A. team? The LA, yeah, I think the Rams are going to pull it out. <laughs> well, you know, as a as a fan, maybe you just don't care one way or the other when you're a Rams no, guy. I, you know, as a as a fan, you care. Of course, you don't care to the extent that a rabid fan of those teams are. Uh, of course, but yes, I care. We're going. It was fantastic. I did the narration for the Rams Super Bowl uh, year last year, and by doing so, the NFL generously gave me two tickets to the game. Fantastic. Then months later, Aaron Paul and I, my partner on Breaking Bad, we get called up by Popcorners. And they said, we have an idea that we'd like to bring you two back together. Uh, and this time, you're, you're baking Popcorners. And I thought, that's pretty funny. And, and they pitched us the idea, and we loved it. We shot it, and it was fantastic. It's going to be on the Super Bowl. Uh, so we're excited about that. And they offered us the tickets to the Super Bowl. And then I went, wait a minute, I still have two tickets from the NFL. So why don't we use the tickets from one, and then we'll take the two tickets from the other, and we'll raffle them off. So we, we contacted Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, a, a fantastic organization, one that, that provides a mentorship and an and an older influence for, for young boys and girls who do not have that in their lives. When they come up against decisions that are tough and they don't know really what to do, where to go, we hope that that older influence can just help give them a little assistance in, in what direction they should take to, to make sure that their lives have the best potential. Anyway, it's a great organization. And so we thought, why not raise money for them? So checked in with the NFL. They're Thumbs are way high. Checked in with Popcorners. They're going, let's do it. And so here we have Brian Cranston, BigGame.com. We have raised almost $100,000 for that organization so far. I'm going to draw the winning numbers live on the Dan Patrick Show on Wednesday, the 8th. Uh, so it could be you. Get in there. Minimum donation is only 5 bucks, And it's also, you get two tickets to the game, airfare hotel, grand transportation, and we're going to arrange to meet the winner themselves. So you'll meet me, we'll raise a glass, have a toast in the in the Arizona desert. How about that? That sounds like a, a wonderful, pleasant thing. It's going to be a wet, nice weather, too. I know a lot of people live in cold areas that it'd be great to get out to Phoenix. Brian, mm-hmm. I, I read your book. I'm a big fan. I think that if you have a chance, you should go read A Life in Parts. One thing I found fascinating about you, uh, Brian, was uh, that the first woman that you saw naked was deceased. She was dead. And I'm just curious, was, was this before or after you made love to her? Our audience wants to know. Oh, you, man. <laughs> you went there. Yeah, i got to give you credit for going there. That was excellent. Uh, six, picture this. I was a, a police cadet, 16 years old, and part of the training of the LAPD Explorer uh, organization. Uh, was that I, we'd go to um, the morgue uh, to begin your police training. You have to, unfortunately, you do have to desensitize yourself to seeing dead bodies. If you're looking for the most epic place on earth, let's start at the base of a massive waterfall. Then trek through the thick jungle. Then climb to the peak of a snowy mountaintop. Then once you get there, Keep going, because with intelligent 4x4 and 7 drive modes and a Nissan Pathfinder, the search is the real adventure.
Available feature. Intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Uh, and so here I am, 16 years old, walking through with a bunch of my friends, and we... Uh, that's it. I see we're in the body washing room, and there it is. Oh, my gosh. A young woman, probably in her late 20s, naked and deceased. And it's like, this is not the way I expected to see <laughs> my first female body nude. Uh, okay. Very transparent in that book, Brian. And again, I suggest people go and, and read that memoir. Another thing I wanted to chat with you about is my son is a big fan of yours. He loves Breaking Bad and the new show, uh, Your Honor. But he brought something to my attention, and he said he heard you talking about it at one point. But I didn't realize this, that today gaming is the largest category in the entertainment industry, making way more money than anybody selling music or anybody selling uh, movies. So I'm just curious, yeah. uh, do you have any interest? Will we, will we be seeing Brian Cranston in a video game coming soon? And is this a market you want to tap into? Well, I, have a, I could say this. You're going to see my image in a game coming very soon, a video game happening. Yeah, my image and my voice you'll be seeing. Um, I, can't, I can't say where and I can't say when, but it's coming. All right, we'll be looking for it. And uh, also, I realized reading your book that you learned something very early in your career that stuck with you. And it was during a makeout session. You had a little tongue action, and this gave you the tools to become the Emmy Award winning actor we watch today. <laughs> Can you explain that to the audience? I found it fascinating. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> I, you know, I, as I said, I was uh, thinking I was going to become a police officer. So. By the time I graduated high school, I went to a junior college. I didn't have any money studying police science. And the plan was then to transfer to UCLA to finish the final two years before going into the LAPD itself. So that was the plan. Um, my second year, I'm 19 years old, and my, my counselor says, well, you have to take some elective courses before UCLA will take you. And okay. I look on the board, and there's acting. Oh, I did some acting when I was young. That was fun. I'll do that. So the first day in my acting class, when I'm 19 years old, a bunch of people were nervous, and the overworked teacher has a, button, a whole handful of pages on his. He says, come on up, come on up, and he hands out pages. Whoever you happen to be standing next to, is you're going to be your reading partner. As we converged on him, I happened to be standing next to this really pretty girl. And he says, you two read this, you two read this, you two read this, and hands us and this pretty girl and me a, a scene. And I'm looking around, and I look down at the page. The first line says, a couple is making out on a park bench. And I thought, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, but I'm 19. This is great. Okay, I'm going to kiss this girl. I'm really going to do it. By the time our scene was called up, she starts the scene, and she's all over me, kissing, tongue, hands, mm. leaning. Oh, she's on top of my body. We're making out, making wow. out. Finally, I feel her tapping my hip like I had the first line. <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't get to it. She was kissing. I was like, ah, I don't want to stop this. So she, I, we finally finished the scene. I thought, this is great. I'm going to ask her out. This is an easy date. She really liked me. I go up to her during the break, and I say, that was great. It's terrific. Um, can I get your number? You want to go out to lunch or something? She, and she looked at me like I was a lost puppy and said, oh, uh, no, no, I have a boyfriend. Excuse me. And she excused herself away, and I was dumbfounded for two reasons. First of all, this class, my job in this class was I was supposed to kiss this pretty girl. That was my assignment. That never happened in police science classes. 
So that one was spinning my head around. The second thing was, I would have bet any amount of money that this girl would. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, lo. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Liked me. Nope. Didn't dislike me. She was just acting. And I thought, oh, my God. I totally believe this. Could I ever get that good? Um, I don't know. But and so I was terribly excited by this. And I needless to say, I never finished the two years at UCLA uh, the police science courses. I, I took off on a motorcycle for a couple of years trying to figure things out before I decided to become an actor. Well, Brian, you've been very uh, generous with your time. I could talk to you longer, but I know you got to get back on set. Uh, everybody, make sure you go to BrianCranstonBigGame.com. He's teamed up with Propeller, and they want to send you to the Super Bowl. And, Brian, uh, best of luck and everything, and we'll be watching you on Your Honor, Sunday nights on Showtime. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate the time. Thanks so much. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, lo. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.